the Chicken Cannon News Center. This is Chicken Cannon News. Greetings, civilians. I'm Colonel Stacy. Some of my close friends call me Teresa. Hi, Teresa. <laughs> Reports from Ottawa indicate Paul Martin may be overreacting to the sponsorship scandal. Today, the Prime Minister fired the heads of 12 more Crown Corporations, four backbenchers, and his cleaning lady. <laughs> Mrs. Martin is furious. <laughs> After complaints his force is behind the times, Toronto's Chief of Police, Julian Fantino, is going to hire more black detectives. His first recruit, Link from Mod Squad. <laughs> U.S. presidential candidate John Kerry was campaigning today in Florida to a large group of well-mannered retired people. He cut his speech short when he realized Canadians can't vote in the American election. <laughs> Meanwhile, George Bush ramped up his re-election ad campaign by introducing some new slogans. Vote Bush and he won't invade you. <laughs> vote Bush, you may as well. We're going to fix it so he wins again anyway. <laughs> and the slogan Mr. Bush wrote himself. Bush believes in freedom. <laughs> In a shocking story, the Department of National Defense paid out $160 million to a computer giant, Hewlett Packard, and received nothing in return. Oh, this just in, there has been a mysterious airstrike on Hewlett Packard. <laughs> Never mess with the Canadian military. <laughs> this portion of Chicken Cannon News is brought to you by the CNIBC, the bank for blind people. <laughs> Pop singer Avril Lavigne is performing free concerts at malls across North America. That's reason number 1012 why I hate going to the mall. <laughs> and now the you story of the week. Two employees at Wendy's in North Carolina were caught after taking a bath in the dishwashing sink. The restaurant's manager became suspicious when he noticed a new item on the menu, the short and curly burger. I did warn you. The leader of South Korea, Ro Mu Hyun, has been impeached for not living up to his promises. Ontario Premier Dalton McGuinty was unavailable for comment. After orbiting the Earth, China's first astronaut said the Great Wall could not be seen from space. He did say Luciano Pavarotti was clearly visible. <laughs> the renowned singer gave his final opera performance to a packed house in New York last week. He received an 11-minute ovation from the audience, then ate them. <laughs> Jean Bertrand Aristide, who was forced out as president of Haiti because he was out of touch and lived a life of extravagance and unaccountability, is currently considering a new position, Canada's next governor general. <laughs> Paul Martin has ordered the Treasury Board to review Governor General Adrian Clarkson's budget, and I've been reviewing it too. Ms. Clarkson spent $41 million last year. How to explain that? She's a liberal. <laughs> Granted, the Governor General is an important figurehead. It makes me proud every time I see Canada's official Apple doll and her hamster welcoming the Minister for Parks and Recreation from Borneo. <laughs> She's a very busy person. Who else would selflessly fly to 41 Arctic communities just to get ice for her crown royal? <laughs> That's not news, it's just one colonel's opinion. <laughs> In other news, Canada's insurance companies announced record profits of $2.63 billion in 2003. That's an increase in profits of 673% over the previous year. And still, my house and car insurance go up. <laughs> Time now for our Chicken Cannon Target of the Week. Our target? What do you know? Canada's gouging insurance companies. Load Cannon Dolores, our ammo, slime, Shredded policies with lots of fine prints. <laughs> Tuna. Well past its best before date because something does seem fishy. A little lemon for flavor. 
a healthy dose of Pepto-Bismol to help quell the sick feeling they give us. Craft dinner because that's all people can afford after paying their car premiums. Some leftover fur from a weasel. And to top it off, Funyuns. Whatever the hell they are. And when ready, fire! I don't know if they're insured, but they are covered. Thanks to Janet Swanson of Burlington, Ontario, who suggested our target. Janet, you'll receive a copy of the latest Air Force DVD, 4x4. Four four. The Chicken Cannon. I'm loving it.